Our own planet is only a tiny part of the vast cosmic tapestry, a starry fabric of worlds yet untold. What if there was a unicorn bike? And what I mean by a unicorn bike is a do it all from highway to single track to even flowing down the interstate at 80 miles per hour with no issues at all. 40 to even 50,000 miles per top end and something with low maintenance. What if I were to say it does exist and it is a dream come true for explorers and ADV riders all over this world? Well, I must say, the Husky 701 is it. It is truly the do-it-all machine. Sure, you might have to compromise a little bit on each category, but it does well to even average on each category. No, it is not a BMW 1200 GS on the road, and it is not a TE250i on tight technical single track. It is not a KTM 500 EXEF on logging roads and technical passes, but the Husqvarna 701 is everything in between that. So I have to admit guys, this 701 is the ultimate exploring machine man. It can handle single track, it can handle double ATV tracks. I haven't, I've even taken out really rocky trails but not like super super technical rocky stuff but I'm sure this thing has really good and then the more you ride it the more I guess you get used to the weight and the more flickable it feels. Like right now even completely stock I'm riding on super deep sand, it kind of gives you an idea. That's all sand, see? And this thing, uh, I, I can't speak if it's the bike or uh, the tires, but it does really good. But this entire road, everything I've been on, has been a mix of everything. So this entire trail is just straight up sand. Really good trail system. Ultimate uh, exploring machine. This thing is freaking great, man. What I love about the 701, just hop on the road, hop on the trail, go explore and everything. And just, and the, the road is yours, man. You can take all back roads everywhere. So I don't know this trail system too well. It's my first time out here. But this 701, you know, it's freaking great for uh, exploring, hopping on the road and exploring stuff like this. It's, this is all the bike I could ask for. Amazing, this thing just goes you know, 70 miles an hour. Woo. Took it at 80 a few, even few times and this thing is just amazing. The ABS seems a little, seems to get in the way a little bit too much in my opinion. Uh, you could definitely obviously disable it. Suspensions, I get a little bit of feedback, of course, cause I'm 200, uh, 220 pounds plus whatever my, the gear is. First gear, I can mostly just hang out in first gear in this type of trails when it's kind of uh, open and tight. Beautiful trail system though. So I guess if you do leave it in stock gearing form, uh, I would say uh, you could really on trails like this, you can leave it on first gear all the time. Suspensions are not that bad. I mean, a little, a little responsive for my taste, but handles the rocks like that was pretty rocky. I'm gonna say the 701 is a perfect bike for stuff like this, just going out and exploring. You know, I wanna see what's out there. This bike is perfect for that. Trails are beautiful, man. I've never been up here. Dodge Ton Trail, I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going. And I guess uh, I'll go out and explore. Engine braking is pretty good for its high gearing too. Not a lot of engine braking, but this is all downhill by the way. Beautiful wooded trail, man. So this is out in Cuchara, Colorado, and this place just 
has so many things to offer man this place is awesome you know without a doubt i'm gonna say the 701 is the uh the do-it-all bike i don't know about you but i love exploring the unknown i want to see what lies out there what the road will offer what things i will run into and the bike underneath me well i want to make sure it will handle everything i throw at it no it does not have to be the greatest but just enough to get me through it comfortably and that is exactly what the 701 is. I don't have to worry if it's capable of going 80 miles an hour or if it can even do tight single track or gnarly rocky trails. The 701 is the do it all bike with average tendencies and that to me is what a true adventure bike is. Anyhow, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe but make sure you hit that bell button and I'll catch you guys on my next video.